Reporting to you live here from Yorkville for the Yorkville Exotic Car Show. It's live from last week, episode 182. Let's go! Welcome back, my fellow Jay Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after a decent night shift last night, a week after I let one of my coworkers know that she reminded me of a building I saw, I went to the location of the aforementioned building on the corner of Richmond and George Street in downtown Toronto to film this. Check out this condo that's named after you, Celeste. All jokes aside, after I had a post-shift nap of about less than three hours, the wife and I headed to this bakery near my hometown, checking out their hot pastry sausage roll. I'm going. Then arrived home for the first time since this live from last week episode to celebrate a belated birthday with Tita Monet. Happy birthday, Mom! <laughs> and after Tita Monet prepared this beautiful dinner for her celebration, we opened up this bottle of sparkling wine and cheers to the occasion. Okay, one, two, three. Yay! Yay! Happy birthday, where are you? <laughs> thank you so much. Ooh. What is it here? Yeah, okay. I'm going to move that for you, okay? That's good. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, nice. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Mom. Bye. Good health. No life, good health. <laughs> mm. Oh, he's back. And post meal, just like we did when we were dog sitting the little doggo Chewy, we topped off the night by having Tita Monet blow out her birthday candles. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my mom. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Wish good health. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good health. <laughs> After watching Tita Monet, the sister in law, and the wife make Beachy Beachy last night, then coming home to catch up on some lost sleep, the wife and I enjoyed her fruits of her labor for breakfast this morning. Before, for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode, going to Mississauga's Square One to check out a place that was once only available in the Philippines. With all these ads popping up around us while we were walking there, located in the food district in this mall, arriving at the famous and most recently opened Potato Corner, and so, meeting up here with G and Din, as well as the nephew, baby Luca, I enjoyed for the first time their cheese-flavored fries. <laughs> exactly Is it nostalgic? <laughs> then tasted my now new favorite barbecue-flavored crunchy chicken pops. Ooh, you want to try the chicken? Having this and sour cream fries with these guys. Ooh, potato corner. With this little one just watching a seat. We then found a table nearby where the baby Luca could eat with us, angrily munching on his strawberries while looking and staring at me as I was trying to eat my crunchy chicken pops. 
And guys, just a heads up, a little bit of karma here. As well, we were trying to style his hair in a new hairstyle. We were blessed with a new present on Giselle's lap. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, after he got cleaned up, I was assigned the task of trying to get him to sleep and nap while he was in his stroller, taking him on a little walk around the mall and working some of my Tito magic here until I was able to get him to pass out. But yeah, eventually after 15 minutes of napping, when he finally woke up, it looked like he wanted to spend a little bit more time with his Tito J while still at the mall before making our way to the nearby Zonta Meadows Park to enjoy some nice outdoor weather chill here in the late afternoon on the bednigs that we brought on the grass and tried to take a nap while the little nephew Luca tried to distract us from taking our post potato corner siesta. Then after chilling at the park for a couple more hours, we briefly stopped by the Saga home for a little bit before we make our way to drop off G at her place and wrap up the night going back to the condo in Scarborough. Well, as you guys just saw, for the first time since this throwback video, summer has officially begun. As last night, we got our first taste of the McDonald's $1 vanilla ice cream cone promo of the summer. And continuing on with the theme of yesterday, Giselle had actually caught me on video of me being the best version of Tito J that I could be. Anyways, dedicating most of today to editing Laugh From Last Week videos for tomorrow morning's release. Before I go in for one single night shift tonight, we'll just do the birthday greetings of the day. Turning out with a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made during one of the Neon Riders bike rides a couple summers back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Christina. Happy birthday, Christina. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made during a World Youth Day trip to Spain in 2011. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Reese. Happy birthday, Reese. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I last saw during his book publishing release just last year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sully. Happy birthday, Sully. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After a busy night at work, but getting a lackluster post-shift nap in earlier today. I'm just taking my day off in between night shifts to pretty much just relax at the condo and catch the beautiful views of the sun going down during sunset to the west this evening. But anyways, on to the birthday greetings of the day. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my friends that I made playing beach volleyball on the beaches of Ash Bridges. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. The next birthday shout out goes out to one of the wife's co-workers who I admire for their passion for the art of cosplay. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kim. Happy birthday, Kimmy. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I remember playing with on the Keon Select soccer team. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dennis. Happy birthday, Dennis. I'm hoping that at this time, everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. With a pretty decent sleep on my night between my night shifts, I saw this promo ad for a summer hot dog event 
for a local tile business, of which I definitely wanted to hit up. So after momentarily going into the store and window shopping for some tiles for a little bit, I went outside to the parking lot to get this. An all beef hot dog with some chips, which included this can of iced tea for only $2 for this glorious meal. So after I eventually finished up eating my hot dog, I definitely went back for a second serving, plus this extra side of potato salad for only an extra $2 more. So in total for lunch, I got two all beef hot dogs with two servings of chips, a potato salad, and a can of iced tea for only $4 all in. And did I mention that there was also live music at this event. Cause you're amazing just the way you are. Thanks again to Tile Solutions for holding this barbecue. And be sure that I'll be here the next time you guys hold another event like this. Anyways, afterwards, I headed back to the condo because for the first time since we are all last here, a couple of my cousins wanted to play tennis at my home tennis courts. So reuniting with a couple of these guys, with some that we haven't seen in quite a while, we all had a nice little tennis session earlier this afternoon. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but moving on guys, tonight I'm going in for a pickup shift downtown at work. But before we do that, we got a quick birthday shout out to one of my university friends that I made going clubbing with them back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Grace. Happy birthday, Grace. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So first of all, I want to wish all fathers and father figures out there a happy Father's Day. Especially to this guy, Tito Eddie. I can't wait till you get back to Canada Pops so we can celebrate a belated Father's Day with you. Anyways guys, after another busy night shift at the hospital, getting out of work around 8 a.m., I headed to the nearby St. Michael's Cathedral for Sunday morning Catholic Mass before going back to the condo to post shift nap for only an hour and a little bit. But guys, I think I was just too excited to sleep, taking the baby rouge out this afternoon, cause I really wanted to attend this event on the streets of Yorkville, 
of which was the 14th annual Yorkville Exotic Car Show. And in case you missed it, guys, I ran into a special guest who is actually a great inspiration of me starting my vlogs since her days at BlogTO, who actually had me stumbling upon my words when I met her in person in this segment. Yo, check out who I ran into at the Yorkville exotic, yeah, Yorkville, Yorkville exotic car show. You got it. It's me. It's Debo. She was even gracious enough to throw a quick shout out to the wife for me as well. Hi Janelle, it's Deepa. I met your husband, he came up to me and was like, you're Deepa. And I was like, yes I am. <laughs> and I was like, where's your wife? <laughs> Not in a weird way. No, no, no. And he was like, she's at work. So we wanted to say hi. We hope you're having a great day at work. He's doing a good job networking, getting content. So you should be proud of your husband. Just like I'm proud of my husband, who I married. Yay! Okay, <laughs> it was great meeting you, Deepa. I honestly appreciated your time and your words of advice on being the best blogger I can be. And keep inspiring future and fellow vloggers like me to keep passionate in doing what we do. But yeah, moving on guys, we'll cut to the birthday greetings of the day. We first got a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made who organizes those amazing neon bike rides that I've been a part of in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Steve. Happy birthday, Steve. And we got a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering from back since our Good Shepherd days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after I left you guys yesterday evening, I decided to hang around in the Yorkville area a little bit longer just to do some people watching before going to this little Yorkville art gallery which had these pieces of art of which when you go from one side to another the art piece itself would change colors, which also made me think that I'll probably come back to this art gallery sometime in the near future. But yeah, afterwards I took the wife post her day shift to the Young Dundas Square area to line up and go for my first time eating at the new Shake Shack that they opened here. And after ordering and picking up one of these unique buzzers, and finally seeing after 15 minutes my name appear on the display board to pick up my food, I played waiter and brought the food that I ordered to the wife sitting at a local table to finally try out first their fries. their cookies and cream milkshake. That's good. And last but not least, their shack burger and chicken shack chicken burger. Or shake shack. 
Which made me believe that I honestly think I have a new favorite chicken sandwich. Anyways, waking up this morning after a decent sleep, I saw that one of the hosts of Virgin 99.9 radio shows, Darren and Deepa show, had followed me on Instagram, aka the fun and bubbly person that I just met just yesterday. I also had heard her doing her segment on the morning show this morning. Play responsibly 18 plus. That's your version of radio traffic. I'm Deep Up Rashad. Yo, I met her last yesterday. <laughs> While recalling the wife's reaction video to the Deepa shout out that she made when I met Deepa. And I put it loud so you can hear because it has audio. 30 seconds. Anyways, today, witnessing something from far off in the distance from the Scarborough GO station, seeing a big black cloud that might have symbolized that there was a fire in the area, I caught the GO train to go downtown to meet up with a buddy that I haven't seen in a while, checking out tonight's Blue Jays game with Jason from his season seats. Uh, I don't know. Oh. And after dancing around with the J-Force in the background, after seeing this home run happen... Oh. It looked like the Blue Jays were going to have a tough time winning this baseball game. With the Jays eventually falling to the Red Sox this evening by the score of 7-3. to three. But on to happier news. We just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made while hanging out with her during our Wysik days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Andy. Happy birthday Andy. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my friends who I miss hanging out with during her times in Toronto and who I've traveled with to Mexico in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mariel. Happy birthday, Mariel. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And well, with that, guys, we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Geowalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Geowalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.